10, 12 people uh, was held uh, in 1988. Uh, in that year, um, speakers included, um, and I'm not sure that any of them has quite arrived yet, but speakers included John Lantos, John, and um, Doug Kinsella, Laura Roberts, John LaPuma, David Schiedemeyer, Gary Shapiro, Peter Singer, and Joel Howell. Um, it was an all-star cast uh, in clinical ethics uh, for, for any time, including the 80s. Um, and many of those speakers will be with us uh, to, at the conference today. Uh, as, as I look around the room, um, I'm delighted to welcome current and former fellows, faculty, members of the board, and friends. Um, I know you all join me in thanking the McLean family for their continued commitment to the McLean Center. Uh, we're deeply grateful also to Rachel Kohler, the center's chairman of the board, for her outstanding leadership in guiding the center's vision for the future. I finally want to acknowledge the McLean Center directors. Uh, I see Peter Angelos and Marshall Chin, um, and I um, don't see uh, Monica or Lainey. Uh, uh, no, but, but um, if Peter and Marshall, raise your hands as associate directors. Uh, the McLean faculty and, and the McLean fellows for their great work and their participation in today's conference. Uh, the annual McLean Conference is the McLean Center's signature event. Uh, the conference uh, recognizes and remembers Dorothy Jean McLean, who helped create the McLean Center and who strongly believed that the world was changed primarily through education. Dorothy, known as DJ's legacy, lives on through our fellowship training program which has become the oldest and largest program in clinical ethics in the world. Now, over the past 35 years, the McLean Center has trained more than 450 fellows in clinical medical ethics, and this year's class of fellows are an extraordinary group, uh, 35 strong, with clinical backgrounds in medicine, surgery, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology, psychiatry, nursing, and chaplaincy. Uh, I should say that the fellows hail from China, South Korea, Japan, Italy, Canada, and the U US. Um, we, I think we have a powerful contingent of eight people from China here, um, if I'm not mistaken. Why don't, the, why, why don't, don't our distinguished visitors from China stand up? Please, please. Um, clinical medical ethics, the field, um, was developed here at the McLean Center uh, by and for clinicians, um, a field that examines practical, everyday ethical issues that arise in encounters among patients, doctors, nurses, healthcare workers, and healthcare institutions. The primary goal of clinical medical ethics is to improve patient outcome while respecting patients' values and, and wishes. But another important goal is to assist our colleagues, health professionals, as they face difficult, challenging ethical situations. In fact, uh, the applications of clinical ethics principles, uh, for example, truth-telling, uh, informed consent, confidentiality, surrogate decision-making, end-of-life care, have become the standard of care in the United States. Uh, let me offer a brief overview of the next two days. The conference will feature more than 35 uh, lectures on a broad range of topics. The majority of the conference speakers are either former McLean Center fellows uh, or current McLean Center faculty. After each lecture, uh, uh, the audience uh, may ask questions. Uh, we have two microphones set up in the back uh, of, of, of the room. Um, I ask you to please state your name and home institution before asking the question. 
for the speakers, what I want to say is that we have a timing clock both in front of you and over there to, to the right. Um, and th the speakers will have 20 minutes. Um, the clock will turn yellow at the 15 minute mark. And that's really the time to wrap up so that we can engage in questions and answers, um, if possible. Um, now, I, I want to say to um, the faculty, current fellows, former fellows, uh, board members, that on this uh, podium, uh, we will have a gr group photo this morning at 11.30, um, after we conclude our second panel and before we head for lunch. Um, Lunch will be in something called the South Lounge, which is past the front desk of the law library and then to the left. Um, uh, everybody in the audience, I hope, is under, knows that they're uh, encouraged to join us for lunch in the South Lounge. Um, because the law students are in session today, it's a Friday, they won't be in session tomorrow on Saturday, we, we've been asked to stay in the South green lounge so that the law students can have the north part of the lounge. It's hard to describe this, but you, you'll, you'll see it when you get there. Um, and, and also, as, as many of you know, the law school has asked us not to use those two doors closest to our desk, but to come in through the main door, uh, primarily for security reasons. Um, I, I'd like you to take note of tomorrow morning's very special event which is the presentation of the McLean Center Prize to Dr. William Fagey. Um, I encourage you not to miss this. Um, the prize will, um, uh, will recognize Dr. Fagey, an infectious disease specialist, an epidemiologist, a public health leader, who's best known for developing a strategy uh, of surveillance and containment that led in the late 1970s to the global eradication of smallpox. Um, he went on to run the CDC for eight or nine years and then worked um, as a vice president at the Gates Foundation for a dozen years, improving childhood immunizations around the world. Um, Dean Polanski will present the prize to Dr. Fagey tomorrow morning about 9.45 uh, in the morning and Dr. Fagey will then present a lecture entitled Global Health Ethical Challenges. And now to lead into today's conference, uh, it is my honor to introduce the moderator of that conference, Dr. Julie Kaur. Do Julie Kaur is a gynecologist specializing in family medicine and contraceptive counseling. Julie has a strong interest in adolescent health medical ethics, and global issues in maternal health. Dr. Kaur currently serves as a primary investigator on a number of studies that examine the impact of doulas, non-medical labor coaches, on different aspects of pregnancy. Julie has studied reproductive health experiences of women with cardiovascular disease and other medical conditions. Further, as a dedicated mentor, Dr. Kaur teaches medical students and residents about family planning and reproductive health, and frequently is advising residents and fellows on research projects that cover this broad range of gynecologic issues. Dr. Kaur will moderate the first panel today, uh, which will include her own talk. Her talk will be entitled, Shared Decision-Making Around the Pelvic Exam. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Dr. Julie Kaur. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. I'm thrilled to be here. Um, Mark and I were just discussing, we think that this is the first dedicated session on reproductive ethics at a McLean conference, so I think that's a tremendous um, addition. <laughs> and um, I'm equally thrilled to introduce our first speaker, Dr. Stacy Tessler-Lindau. <laughs> 